Hi everyone, just a brief announcement for people who has made an order for their personal reading in the description box below. For the one question, no contact uh, reading, the current wait time and turnaround for it is at the least seven days. Thank you very much for patiently waiting and for everyone who wants to book a reading, it's going to be in the description box below. Let's proceed to your reading. Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. Let's start your reading. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess we'll go there right away. Good morning, Three of Swords. Okay. It feels like morning has broke me. Okay. So, Three of Swords, if you see here, um, it is gruesome. It's bloody, you know. Um, it's a breakup. It's a separation. Mm -hmm. It's the part where you, no matter what you do, um, you can't put it back together okay it's like a broken piece your relationship has fallen apart and you do love this person um a lot you know i mean the heart symbolizes everything here the vulnerability of the heart is here it's exposed so you allowed someone to be part of your life and you felt betrayed by them it feels like someone is changing their mind with regards to dealing with the relationship. It's a change in their mindset. And this is what the issue is. For others, of course, it's going to be a third party. But this is about someone changing their mind. It's a sword. It's a, the thought. So a cancellation or a, someone's promise was not kept. And this is also the person not respecting, I feel, like the decision that you guys have made already. So, it's a shift. This is what they're saying here. You have the Six of Swords, which is a long distance card. The Six of Swords, if you see, they're, they're trying to move across. So, wherever the relationship will go, it depends on the person who's, who's holding the wand. So, there's a wand there. Three and six of swords. Um, for me, when it's double, especially like it's just connected to each other here, it's very intense, it's very painful, and it's the ignoring of each other right now. You don't understand what happened, basically. You're just in a surprise, in a shock, in an awe. And I feel like this is just about to happen, or it just has manifested, um, considering that Mars has left Aries and then has went to Taurus. Mars do give a gift. All the planets, the grahas, they live a gift. And Mars's gift here is to separate you from a person that was probably holding you back from moving forward in life. Um, as, as much as progress. So if you can't do it, well, you got the help from the planets here. As above, so below. It was the speech also. There was a problem between the, conver you know, like how they relate to you and how you talk to them. It was zero to 100. Next thing you know, nobody's talking to each other anymore. And right now, it's just, you know, being cold, you know. Now, the Six of Swords goes to the Seven of Swords, which means that you, you know that they're not being honest, but you can't put it together still. So, there is the part, there is something inside you that your intuition is telling you already. Like, something is not right. It's almost as if, like, going in that boat, and symbolizing the relationship, it's like, you knew what you're getting into, and yet you still went with it, okay? Like, this boat is going to sink regardless. It's not going to get across. Knight of Pentacles, um, the knight that is on hold and in on pause. So your relationship right now, Aries, is not going anywhere. And even though you try, it's going to be more painful. It can be with the Taurus. And I said Mars moves the Taurus. Um, it's going to stay there for a long time. Um, so this is about like wanting to make a move, but not. Uh, it's not going to. It's not going to work out anyway. Um, complete reassessment of how to how to move forward so you have to think here first the knight of pentacles if you see um it's the only horse that is uh, planted on the ground um it just finished something which means for you this is a closed chapter i have to move forward but my life right now is on hold because there was a lot of things in this connection that is not certain like we could have talked we could have communicated but everything just blew up out of propor propor uh, proportion proportion okay 
You have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a card of being single. Okay. Um, your person, who is uh, probably far from you, decides now that they want their space and they need it. And they're very much confident with this decision. It's something that you want from them, something that you need from them that they cannot provide. And this person feels that they were suffocated during this time. With K2 in Libra, of course, they would feel um, suffocated. Um, it looks like also that the uh, Nine of Pentacles here, um, but it takes two to tango, so both of you are feeling suffocated. The Nine of Pentacles is looking at um, you with the doubt. I mean, if you see her face um, in the Nine of Pentacles, like they're doubting your actions right now. So there's no trust in this relationship right now. The two of you are basically suspicious of each other's intention and action. Like, well, why would this person do this? Why would this person do that? So creating a scenario, basically. So they're creating a scenario inside their head ever since the breakup. And that breakup is like, it's just sudden, you know. Seven of Cups. There it is. The illusion, the lies, and the betrayal becomes more clear. Um, but this uh, goes hand in hand. There were things that you were not telling them, and there were things that they were not telling you, which causes the relationship to be uncertain. Um, but this is more of like, where do they see themselves, and where do you see yourself? That wasn't um, clear between the two of you. Um, you guys assume that everything is fine, but it's not. Um, this is coming into a relationship where you know and they know that at some point you guys will, will need to discuss but nobody wants to discuss it. So there was a lot of things that can be a work, career, health, um, do you want kids, you know, all those things was not discussed or moving in together. And that became an issue here. It became such an issue that, you know, it just sank the relationship. It's almost as if like you guys were just trying to go with the flow with each other and then at some point you know it's going to go to a dead end. And then here you're hitting the dead end with the Seven of Cups. The Hermit. Um, the person is needing some time and space now with you. Um, the Hermit with the Seven of Cups trying to find a good reason, okay, is what they're doing. The good reason to explain to you what has happened and what they're confused about. They would want to tell you also, um, I feel like briefly, um, what their goals are, where they see themselves. Um, with the hermit, don't expect them to call or text you. This is also being hurt, you being hurt by go by them ghosting you because when they needed it to clear their mind, you know, they just shut down on you. The hermit and the seven of cups, this is just showing uh, that you have, okay, hermit and seven of cups. You have a person who's very secretive, okay, the hermit, so, yeah, they, they try, they always keep things to themselves, which would become an issue in a relationship. The magician, give me a Gemini, a Virgo, you got Taurus, you got Capricorn, you got Pisces. So the magician here, from the hermit to magician, you will see a mixed signals with your person because they'd be in recluse with you, but on the other end, they'd be going out in the works. The magician is, you know, is a trickster. So for you, they're sad, they're lonely, they're upset, and, and you know, sad, sorry, sad, lonely, and depressed. Um, but then they go out and they're confident nine of pentacles with a magician so you're seeing two sides of them what is it really you don't know because it's a seven of cups but you can't ask them right now because you guys are on a break so this is more of like you guys are on a break the magician has different tools on the table which means like it is up to them to reach out to you um, ever since the separation you haven't made any move you're still I feel in the knight of pentacles you're on hold here on their end, with the magician and cups, the swords, the wands, the pentacles, you know, it's, it's easy for them to just text you or call you, but they won't. With regards to you, you are in the back burner. You're not a priority to this person. They're chasing other things in their life. And chances are they're openly dating other people during the break. So you guys are on a break. Mm -hmm. Ten of cups. Not sure if this person has family or they're prioritizing their family. And you guys are, um, but I feel like this person is trying to win someone, Magician of Ten of Cups, and that's not you. 
that's not you at all. That's one of their options. Um, with the magician, hermit, the seven of cups, they're pursuing someone else that they feel more connected. And this is where you feel devastated. You didn't know about this whole side of them that there's duality. You know, like they can go from you to the next person right off the bat. Like, okay, your boat is sinking. I go to the next one. So they rely on what they can take basically and they feel like oh the grass is greener on the other side you see the ten of cups over here someone is giving me everything making me feel good you know instead of like arguing all these things with the three of swords then i'll jump ship i move to the ten of cups magician and the ten of cups so your person basically is a player thank you okay sal <laughs> was well, a magician they play Okay, so let me continue this reading, Aries. Let's dive deeper on how you got yourself into this kind of situation ship where um, separation has happened. They're here. You're there. You don't know what to do. You're on hold. You're on a pause. And I feel like that's where you're at right now, feeling stuck. Okay, everything's going to be down there in the description box below. And do you see there that says a free crystal? Mm -hmm. You can click that free crystal. Okay, it's a free um, random crystal that I will pick for you. So do check it out. You can click that um, um, click that little sign over there. And also follow me in the extended link down there in the description box below. And I will see you guys again. Bye.